Psalm 103, verse 2 to 5 says this. It's awesome. It said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That means that all his benefits is possible for it to be forgotten. Forget not all, my bene all his benefits. Then it begins to say something here. And you know what is very interesting about this scripture? The word W-H-O. I know we all know that program called Doctor Who. This one is not Doctor Who, but you see the word who there. Who means what is going on or who is a question to say, who is this person? You know, when you hear the word who or what is a question that is trying to find out something. Who is this particular person that is doing this thing? Where is the source of all these benefits coming from? So we begin to see a lot of the word who here. And I want us to pay attention to it. It says, verse three, who forgiveth all thine iniquities? It doesn't actually tell you the person. It says who. Even though we see the word, it says, bless the Lord. So we understand it is the Lord. So it says, who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Number one. Number two, who healeth all thy diseases? Number three, who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Mm. Number four, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Five. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? So when you see who, 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 who is not Dr. Who, it's Jesus Christ. We're talking about healing tonight and we embrace it with all our heart. No matter how many people you pray for, maybe it looks like they didn't get healed. No. The word of God is the final authority. The word of God is a sure banker. Healing is God's will. Healing is a done deal. That is final. Hmm. He says, who healeth all thy diseases? Hmm. God is so merciful that he will not only heal your diseases, he will prevent it from coming near you. <laughs> Pray, pray for one minute. Pray. 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 Oh my God. Oh my 